the information superhighway, an online network called Internet. Come on by whenever you, you're you ready. Here you see this mysterious man. There's a mysterious man coming. Hi. Oh, no. Welcome to Dirt Blockade. What? Alphabetic Frontier Grab. Hold on. Hold, that's t- that is too many things, sir. Dirt. Say it again, please. Dirt Blockade. Dirt Blockade Alphabetic Frontier Grab. Wait, what's that? What are the what are the first letters of those last three words? G R A B Grab. Frontier Grab. No no no, I mean like as an acronym. A-F-G. Oh. D B A F G. A F G. Yeah. Dirt blockade. A F G. That's... Is that what the episode's gonna be called? Yeah, yeah. Dirt Blockade. Thank A-F-G. you, mysterious man. Thank you. You're welcome. I love the announcer voice. It's the um yeah. What just happened? I don't know. But I was saying I really love the announcer voice. I don't know what came over me earlier today, but I just thought it would be funny to take like famous somewhat famous movie quotes and say them in like a uh in like a almost a radio DJ slash sitcom uh voice way <laughs> where it would be like the one that came to mind was you best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. And then, <laughs> and then just like go to her like, oh, why me? What about, what are some, I don't really know any famous movie quotes. None whatsoever. How about, no, that's not famous. It's just from Whiplash. Yeah. <laughs> it's famous to you. Yeah. Well, there's, you know, Star Wars. I want J.K. Simmons to yell at me in an announcer voice. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. What's like a famous Harry Potter line? Uh, what's Harry Potter? Oh no. Who am I? You're you love Harry Potter. Oh, that's right. Um, we discussed this last time, I think. On the online, po- I mean, Dirt Blockade AFG. Mm-hmm. I thought at first it spelled F A G. Oh, <laughs> that's like, why you were like, I really gotta double check on this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would have been equally as funny, but Harry Potter. Um, I feel like the spells are. Yeah, sure. Mostly just... Avada <laughs> Kedavra! <laughs> what if there was a spell that you had to... Say? Is Are there spells you have to say a certain way? Do you know? Yeah, there's a whole scene about it. Yeah? Where at? When Guardium Leviosa. Well, that... But, I mean, that's more of a pronunciation. No, not I'm like a specific like, voice. That learn. would make any sense. <laughs> Maybe in, like, the expanded universe that doesn't exist. Yeah. In fan fiction. Let's make it up mm-hmm. right now. Yes. Does it? Yeah, that's a good. Well, that's a good point because certain ones are said in an accent. Like yeah. I just said, when Guardian Leviosa, but yeah. if I say it like that, it's I don't a, think well, it works. It's the same thing with like that whole Diagon Alley and Diagon Alley. Oh or yeah, whatever. He says it wrong. He says it wrong. He and says so, it so wrong in the movie. Incredibly <laughs> it's wrong. Like, but how'd you get it wrong? I'm wondering then if at that point. Like, if you had a speech impediment, you would be the worst wizard of all time. Because you just couldn't do it. But I guess Quirrell <laughs> didn't... Nice. But I guess Quirrell had a stutter. Yeah, he, well, it was a fake. Well, oh, it was a fake it stutter. It was a fake stutter. Okay, fair enough. That's so does that mean wizards can't have stutters? Well, I'm were... not saying that that disproves your theory. Yeah. All I'm saying is that Quirrell's stutter was fake. Right. Because you're a fake fan and you didn't know that. No, I knew that. You didn't know that. But I Only just I like Harry Potter. Acting, if he was committed to that role, mm-hmm. wouldn't he also try to do spells in the stutter, and then wouldn't that backfire on him? I don't know. Gilderoy Lockhart didn't have a stutter. He yeah. just had a bad wand that he stole. Yeah, so that is completely <laughs> irrelevant to what we're talking about. Well, you just said backfire and spell, yeah. and it made me think of that part mm-hmm. in the book movie of Harry Potter. Yeah, the memory charms. Getting real up close and personal. That's your favorite thing to do. Talk you about, gotta get friendly with the microphone. We'll talk about the elephant in the room. What's the elephant in the room? His name's Jerry. Oh no, Dylan, you're losing it, man. No, you want to talk about the elephants in the room? No, there's more of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one's named Jerry. One's named Terry. 
Is it just a series of Aries? No, one's name is John. John, of course. John uh, how long have you been awake right now? Let me check my watch. Let me check my watch. We always have a strat. We it's it's not a strategy. It just happens that we all usually always record these when one or both of us are, are tired. Hours. Yeah, I'm not tired. You are losing it though. Just want to talk about the elephants in the room. Okay, there was I didn't you understand. Can't tell, but there's three now. Sure, I didn't understand that that was an expression. I remember playing um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Four. You ever play that game? No, I played one of them though. There's one where there's a drunk guy. Uh, like that, that one had a lot of mini side missions. You'd talk to people and they'd give you stuff to do. And one of them in like the very first level was you talk to this hobo and, uh, and he was, um, saying he was all drunk and he's like, uh, you got to collect all the pink elephants, man. They're everywhere. And you'd have to do it with, in like one combo. You had to grind and collect all the pink elephants. Wait, could you see the pink elephants too? Uh, o- only on that mission. Oh. Yes. Wait. Would that old man slip into your drink? Well, because there were also a billion other things that appeared depending on what mission. Like, you had to always collect the words skate in one combo. So there's just Ooh. these floating letters around. It's like Donkey Kong Country. Yeah? I never played that, I don't think. You gotta collect the Kong. Yeah? You go in. There's a K. Mm-hmm. Guess what's next? Uh, and... No, no. Oh. 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 Mm-hmm. What's after that? Then and N. Mm. And then a couple other ends, mm-hmm. and then the last G. No, That's no. what I call Donkey Kong. The last G. Donkey Kong. Don? Mm-hmm. You want to talk about the elephant in the room? Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what you're getting at. His name's Barry. <laughs> He's the fastest elephant, alive. <laughs> <laughs> which is not incredibly fast. No, he's for got, he's like he's like the Flash. Yeah. He's that fast. Mm-hmm. He's, it's an alternate universe where we don't talk about comic books on yeah. this podcast. Yeah, Dylan, I gotta say, so far in this conversation, you've not been giving me much to work with. Is this the worst episode of the you've online podcast? You've been just talking yet? about elephants in the room and have yet to... Hey, Dennis, you enjoying this one? <laughs> yeah. Our patron saint, the menace. Dennis the menace. When I never put that... In. I feel... In oh, my God. I feel like... Dennis has probably heard that his entire life. What the menace? Yeah, because there's not what other what other thing pairs with Dennis? Doolittle. Dennis from Venice? Like that's not a thing. Dennis Dunphy. That's not a. That's not a character. Dennis Diddley. You're just doing the last names that start with D. Dennis Nice Wander. <sighs> but the D is silent. I got two notes right now. Yeah. I don't know what else to write down. One of them is <laughs> elephants in the room. I'll write down Dennis. How, how's this podcast going? Oh, horribly, Dylan. No, no. You this is not going great at talk all. talk about... No, I do not want to talk about... iTunes? How about <laughs> iTunes? This is the online podcast with Scott and Dylan. Go on down to iTunes. Rate and review. Can we, can we just... Let's just Go edit down out to the entirety comment. of the beginning part no, of this. No, that's staying in. Uh, Dennis, use your best discretion. Dennis doesn't edit this. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I edit this. I have control. <laughs> um, yeah, so we just put the podcast on iTunes. Go check it out. Uh, if you're not already there, if you are there, give us a rating and review. Really they're on us YouTube? Out. Why? Yes, they're on YouTube as well. Why are you here? Go Leave to comment. showitissues.com. Hey, Double watch like. my video that I spent 15 hours on. That's not, this is not the time nor place. Hey. I'm sorry. But know. also, this would come out like two weeks from, from your video. So at that point, views and stuff wouldn't really matter. They do to me. All right. They do Deuteronomy. Nice. Um, Biblical reference. Thanks. Hey, Deuteronomy is just a word. There's a, did you ever watch the show Psych? Uh, with Amanda Waller? No. Oh, okay. Then no. Okay. I watched the one with Amanda Waller. What are you talking about? <laughs> the elephant in the room. Um, I don't understand what's happening in your mind right now. Uh, the show Psych. There, His name's Larry. Uh, they. Um, that? There's one of my favorite jokes in there was. Uh, Is it another crime show? Yes, oh, it's a, but it's a com- it's a comedy. Oh, okay. Crime show. It's about a guy. Oh, is it like Psych? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, it, it's <clears throat> it's about a guy who is a very. 
uh, he's hyper aware, so he takes in a lot of information, mm -hmm. and he just like on the side. He he's really good crime solver, right? So he like calls oh. in and like tips people off to be like, hey, you you forgot you didn't notice this and that mm -hmm. and that's that puts those people that's who did the crime, and uh, so they're like they're trying to figure out like what? Stop eating your microphone. I think you saw the elephant in the room. So at the end uh, of like the or in the first episode, he uh, uh, basically says that or the cops bring him in because they're like you're obviously an accomplice how else would you know all this information so he has to pretend that he's psychic mm -hmm. in order for them to believe him that's why it's called psych that's why it's called psych he also has a business called psych which is a private detective <laughs> agency and he just pretends that he's psychic the whole time but uh anyway the point i was going to bring up is there's it, it's Wait, why doesn't he just tell him that he has like a photographic memory i don't know it, because it's just it's not an interesting tv show premise <laughs> yeah I, I feel like there's another show uh, I don't. I've never seen it, but I feel like the it's mentalist like, is like the exact opposite, where it's like an actual psychic, but he just oh. pretends to be. Yeah, that's. I was gonna say like an eye zombie. Yeah, she's a zombie, but she tells everyone that she's a, a, like a psychic, and they yeah. believe her. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, that's fine, but she won't tell people that she's a zombie. <laughs> yeah, like in that in that universe, psychics, psychics are, are okay. Psychics, like, yeah, that makes sense to me. Which, like, I mean, I guess that's fair because there are people who claim to be psychic in our world. Sure, but v people just very don't believe few them. people claim to be zombies. Yeah, <laughs> I want to meet the man who thinks he's a zombie. How's he go? What's he dressed like? What's he dressed like? Uh, I mean, if you're trying to blend in, then normal. I get zombies don't really dress like anything. They just dress like no, whatever they were when they died. Well, are you a are you an eye zombie or are you a not zombie? Oh yeah, there are different zombies in that universe yeah you got the ones who haven't eaten brains and you got the ones that have mm -hmm. now the ones that have they're just kind of pale the ones that haven't mm -hmm. <laughs> that was pretty good zombie noise yeah you think I so say, i'm impressed with myself what are your opinions on fast versus slow zombies that's a classic argument uh what's the situation just in general just in general do you think zombies should be fast or slow uh, slow. Yeah. Fast scares me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think slow is scary, especially if there's a lot of them, right? Because they zombie. The whole point of numbers is that they out or uh, zombies is that they outnumber you. Yeah. You know. So like, uh, if they're fast, then there's no point in there being a lot of them because mm -hmm. it's like you're just adding I more impossible onto this scenario. That's true. I like. Uh, what's that game? You wouldn't know. Uh, hey, listeners, let me know. The one they showed Left it. Left for at, Dead. No, no, they showed it at E3 last year. The one where you're trapped in a mall and zombies are no, slapping that's you around. Dead Rising. Uh, uh, dead Island. Call of Duty Zombies. No, it's not out, or it might be out. I don't Halo know. They, flood it was levels. really impressive because there was a point where I forgot what it was called, but. Uh, everybody thought it was Last of Us 2 mm. and they were showing it at E3, but it wasn't. Walking Dead by Telltale. And no. God, no. Um, and they got to a point where there were there were these few bits of zombies mm -hmm. and and that was all fine and good. And the guy started running from them and he hit a certain point where just an entire, like, at least 200 zombies popped out. Mm -hmm. All running super fast, all being rendered on the PS4, okay, and it was so cool, and he had to, like, they were, they were fast zombies, too, so he had to, like, run and use, like, his environment and throw fire at them and stuff. It was really cool. I don't know if that game came out. Overwatch. Yeah, that was the one. That's the one. Um, Overwatch. Do you think they'll do an Overwatch zombies? But Well, they did junk and kind of did junk and Yeah, that was revenge. that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You drank. You. You. You want... No. No, nah, it's not worth it. No, it is. It, it's you never deserve, once been worth you it. You don't deserve to talk about it anymore. Okay. I'm in a really good mood today. It honestly does not show. No? No. Really? Genuinely. Why not? I don't know. You just feel, your presence feels like you're down in some capacity. Oh, that's because I ate Burger King. Oh, and that'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but no, I'm in a really good place Why are right you now. in a good place? Tell me about your life. Good mood. Uh, number one, I'm caught. I'm current on Marvel and DC comic books. This comes out in two weeks. I imagine 
that won't be the case. No, by then. it is. Uh-huh. Tomorrow, I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up and read yeah today's comics, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna continue that because and here's why I'm going to be current for the rest of eternity. Yes, is uh I don't know if you saw, but um the the Benny Boys, the comic story in Boys and Girls. Sure, we started a new show called the Weekly Roundup. Okay, which is just. We uh it it Caitlin writes it that sea monster writes it and it's kind of like a jokey comedy type thing okay where we talk about all the all the comics that came out last week give you like a recap of them mm-hmm. throw some jokes in there mm-hmm. I edit it mm-hmm. it's fun but for me to edit it I have to read the comics that came out that week so do you have to or is that just something that you want to do well I want to do yeah I don't want to be spoiled right. But, but I mean, it's yeah, not like no, a have to. I'm not writing it, so I don't have to. Right. Caitlin has to. Yeah. Um, but I don't have to. But I don't want to be spoiled. I'm very sensitive to spoilers. So that's going to keep me accountable. Like before, I didn't really have any reason to. I wanted sure, to, but sure. like nothing was, nobody was banging on my door saying, hey, I'm going to tell you what happens in Steve Rogers number 12. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, so you're saying I should start. That's my reason to stay current. Then is to what? show up at your door with spoilers. Well, that's what the that's what this show's doing for yeah. me. It's it's creeping up on me every week and saying, "Hey, listen, <laughs> you got to do your job. So read your comics." I know you do not care about Dark Horse comics, but mm-hmm. that's the only one that I can get in advance. And so if I read that a day before they come out, then I'll just show up at your door and be like, <laughs> "You'll never guess what happened in Hellboy." I would not care. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, hey. like that's another thing is there are uh, there are comics that I'm not reading that are spoiled for me, but I don't care because yeah. I'm not reading them. Oh sure, like uh, Daredevil or Punisher. Mm. What do you what we don't talk about comics? I no, forgot we don't. About that. We got to stop doing that. Shit. This is not what is this show? The, the comic show book show. Uh, anyway. Back to my good mood. Yeah, why, yeah. Is that is it just because you're current, or is it more it's, things? It's well, that that is a big proponent. Uh, proponent. That's hey. a word. <laughs> we'll say that's a word. Proponent because, uh, it's just a lot of stress lifted off my shoulders, because that was something that was weighing me down. Not being mm-hmm. current. Um, you are sitting up a little bit straighter today. Am I? No. Oh, okay. Oh, that was rude. Um, but also. I I got all my I got all my Benny work done for this week. Nice. Um I still got some freelance work to do this week. Uh and then my show, but technically I'm a day behind on work. How is this So I guess I'm just this feeds into your good mood? Yeah. Okay. Be, I'm being productive today basically. Okay. Is making me feel nice. Sure, 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 sure. And also um, I don't know. You just get days where you're in a good mood. Sure. But uh, so for me, most of those are like, it doesn't matter what I do. If the weather's really nice, mm-hmm. then I like open up my windows, open up my blinds. Maybe that's the reason too. Yeah. Cause I feel uh-huh. like you're, I feel like we've had this brief discussion before. You don't like, uh, do you like opening up your windows when it's a nice day? Like you have curtains everywhere to keep all of the sunlight out all of the time yeah yeah (laughs) and that is like the complete opposite of me if my house could be if my apartment could be lit by only daylight i don't like sunlight why it glares on my monitors okay and it's hot but just position your monitors differently see that look to your right (laughs) no but, like, so if you're not using it, like now, for example. This light right here? Yeah. I got to turn that off because mm-hmm. it bothers me so in the glare. Here's the thing. You don't really need that light on, especially right now, because it's so sunny outside. No, but also, if it's not on, it bothers me. I don't want to open those curtains. Why? I don't want people to see what I do. There's, like, a big bush in the way out mm-hmm. there. People peep. Uh-huh. People peep on me. No, my, my blinds and my windows are usually open 24-7, and uh, at night I forget People about watching you. Yeah, well, at night I forget about it, so when, when I, I go you. out to take the trash out at nighttime, I'll be like, oh, who's this person with all of the lights on? And so, oh, oh, that's, that's me. You. <laughs> yep. Everyone else's blinds are closed, and I think everyone's crazy for doing that. 
Ooh, it's because they want privacy. You can be you can be private inside of your own nope home. Sometimes I get worried because I I play loud music. Yeah, not that loud, but sometimes I play things, and outside there are children mm-hmm. and they're playing. And some days I feel like they're gonna come to their parents are gonna come to my door and say like, "Hey, stop it!" I'll be like. Well, excuse are you. Are you playing things that are inappropriate for children? This is my home. For child ears? That's viewer discretion is advised. Yeah. I, I mean, don't know. I had a roommate back in college who was kind of the same way where he didn't want the, he especially didn't want the windows open at all. Uh, every time it was like a nice day and I opened the window to get some fresh air in, he was just like, ugh, it's not as stuffy as I'd like it to be in here. <laughs> are you the same way? Do you not like the fresh air? I don't. It's not the air. It's the light. It's the light. I don't like the light. Sometimes. Well, you can you can open the window and keep the blinds closed. It, it's there's still light. Well, you can. I don't close, want any light. Right, but you can. I don't, <laughs> I don't want any light. I don't like <laughs> your what? mouth on these. What microphones. the elephant? No, I don't like your mouth on these microphones. His name's Carrie. He's over oh, there. Of course he is. They're all males. Way to be. Representative, I gotta tell representative, you, yeah. That Burger King, yeah, it's not sitting well. No, I didn't think it was. It's, made me, it's turned my mood down. I got the meat sweats. Meat sweats. The meat sweats. What is that? You never heard of the meat sweats? No. Where you eat too much meat and you sweat. Okay, never had that. You ever been to Fogo de Chao? No. You ever been to any a la carte meat place? No. You ever been to? Burger King. <laughs> I've had a meat lover's pizza once. <laughs> you got the meat sweats. Oh, I did? Yeah. Def- I was definitively? There. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You always get the meat sweats. You get the soda burps when you when you drink soda? Well, yeah. Yeah, those are the best. Okay. Those help when you're eating lots. Yeah, they you drink clear the up. soda, they clear out. Clear up some room. Clear it up. Mm-hmm. You got an elephant in the room? You drink soda, mm-hmm. burp them right out of there. I feel like this podcast has been going on for way too long, and it's probably only like 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, we we're 20 minutes in. Let's talk. What other food digestion helps are there? I don't know. You got you got the meat sweats. You got the soda burps. Mm-hmm. You got the uh, Pepto-Bismol. You got the coffee poops. Enlighten me. That's, oh, so, yeah. I don't drink coffee. Well, coffee makes coffee makes you poop. Coffee makes you poop? Yeah. Coffee's a laxative? Yes. You ever had straight up laxative? Someone's giving you a phone call on this podcast. Oh. Answer it. Who's from Louisville, Texas? Answer it. Hello? We're on a live podcast. I can't hear it, but who is it? Yep. Yep. Who is it? You give out, don't give out personal information. Sounds good. We're streaming. Just want to let you know that. Just be real, real careful. All right, cool. Thank you very much. I don't want to say anything bad on this podcast you and too. this phone Bye. number. Who has it? That was for you. What? Your uh, car license plates and everything. Why are they are calling you? Because I'm the buyer. You're no. just the co-buyer. Yeah, but why they got your phone number? I don't know. Wait, did we put your address on there at all? Mm, you get you gotten any toll tag things in the I've mail? I've gotten a ton of stuff from that from like all the Are you throwing stuff. it away? No, I'm keeping it. I okay, just good. It. You should, I probably you should give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, good to know. I'll go put my plates on my car. That who the woman who just called me sounded like she was dying. What? Why? Like she was like. It was basically one of those things where you could tell she's made the same phone call about a thousand times oh, today. No. It was like. So letting you know your license Wait. plate and things are available. A woman works at that dealership? I guess. I didn't see a single woman in there any time we went. Who do you think? The, well, okay, it's also could have been a robot, but it sound if it was a robot, it sounded real good. They got a robot in there? No, they don't got a robot in there. Yeah, they got a it machine. sounded they do. <laughs> and if we go, are we going back there? Do you have to go back and pick it up? You do. That's what she said. Let's get popcorn. Yeah, but we don't have to go in. We just pull up to the thing. No, but like... And I say, I need my plates. And then they switch them out in three seconds. And then I... Out of there. And then I'll pop in and get some popcorn. You can... That's your prerogative. Yes. You know, you just buy one of those machines. That's like $200. That was your plan. Mm-hmm. And you get the one of fries. How much was that one again? 40 
Yeah, but it doesn't have wheels. <laughs> what if I need it to be mobile? What if I need mobile popcorn, Dylan? You got arms? You got one arm, two arm? Mm-hmm. Pick up. Yeah, but then I have to plop, plop it down anywhere, and then it's just that on my back. Make your own wheels. Screw yeah. some wheels onto it. Reinvent the wheels. Reinvent it. Don't touch that. Okay. He touched it. He touched the elephant. That's not the elephant. What is what? Can I just ask about the elephants? Oh, what so you want to talk about the elephant in the room? Yeah, now? I honestly, yes. You want to talk about the elephant in the room? Uh, now? Well, there's plural. So you ever seen the Legend of Korra? Yeah. How would you think? What I think of Legend of Korra? Yeah, yeah. I liked it a lot. What was your favorite part? My favorite part. Um. Th- there's a there's a moment in one of the final one of the battles in a in like a in a season. Well, so first I should say my favorite like episodes were mm-hmm. the first air the first uh, Avatar, Juan. I thought he was awesome. Oh yeah, those were fun. Um, but my favorite like moment of the show was there was a part where w- there was Sparky Sparky Boom, woman. You know, she's blown up, and she her face gets blown yeah, up. That, that and was it's wild. Awesome. <laughs> I like the. I need to rewatch it, but moment that sticks out to me i think it's that same season yeah they have her like strung up and it gets real dark yeah that whole series gets real dark it got real dark real fast yes they stopped airing it on tv Uh uh-huh i think that's why i i've heard that that's not why that i think that's why it got dark not i don't think it got dark i don't think they canceled because it it, no it's watching it that's why they took it off right right well no it wasn't it wasn't that they didn't take it off of tv because nobody was watching it i think they just like they put it on uh, the website because that was just better for the audience that was watching it. Yeah. Um, because it wasn't a really a kid show. Right, right, right. But <laughs> no, dude, it was it was awesome. I like when she turned into a jellyfish. Yeah. And she sloshed around <laughs> like an elephant. Anyway, what do you like it or Airbender better? That's a tough one. Airbender was a show that I that I fell in love with uh, when it can't, came out. Can't fall in love with a show. It's an inanimate, not even an object. Um, What'd you point to? My wallpaper. Oh. You know what it is. It's a uh, Aang's butt. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Talk about the elephant in the room. So Avatar, I do... <laughs> That that's a tough one. I love. I I think the second. I think Korra uh, it touched on a lot more, uh, more mature themes, and I think it was. It also had some amazing voice acting in it from mm-hmm. a bunch of people. It's got your J.K. Simmons, your favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, but there's. I don't know. There's something so special about the Last Airbender that uh, makes it a lot of fun to watch. I like Korra better. I I think I. I it would be more definitive for me if the second season of Korra didn't exist. Mm. Cause I you think don't have to watch it. <laughs> right. But I think that second season was not good. I'm fine with it. It's not the best, yeah. but I just, I relate. Both of those shows are, are about the characters mm-hmm. and I, I relate more to the characters in Korra. Yeah. Um, not to, that's not to say that I don't like airbender. I love airbender. I think Korra's a little better. I wonder if that's like, cause similarly, the ages of the characters in Airbender were around the ages that I was when it was airing. Me too. So I mean, not when it was airing, but when I watched it. Right. Okay. So I don't know. That was that made me be like, oh yeah, I like I like those characters too. I don't know. I just I tend to get it. I I no. Can we really know how when when what can we quantify how we elephant? I'm gonna let you take that again. Can we really quantify when or how we relate to certain characters? Uh, I don't know. I feel like this podcast shouldn't be called Dirt Blockade anymore. No, it should be called The Legend of Korra. <laughs> We've been talking five. about it for like two minutes. Are you sure? Uh, I will say I like Legend of Korra for expanding on a lot of the lore of that universe. You know? Yeah, that was fun, especially because they like. I mean, the comics did that too, but I don't really, mm-hmm. we don't talk about comics in this show. Um, but because they, they like, they did a time jump, and time jumps are always fun. Mm-hmm. It was a necessary time jump. You can't have another show without any time. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. <laughs> you can't just be like, Avatar, still the last airbender. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
It's just the season. Was it? That's what? How many seasons of Airbender are there? Like seven just, of Airbender? Yeah, just the three. Just seven. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, it'd be season four, mm-hmm. and then he's just old. That's yeah. Just the comics, and like the one episode of Korra. Sure. I was talking with uh, Ricky the other day, who was the stranger in here, and we were going through the Tommy Westfall universe. What if he was the elephant in the room? He probably is. He's not. Um, I don't want his wanna... name's Ricky, not yeah. Larry, Terry, Look, Jerry. I don't want to resort to name calling. Terry. But uh, we were going through the Tommy Westfall universe, which is if and if, if nobody, if if someone listening doesn't know, that's like the idea that all of the TV shows in history are related into the same oh, one yeah, universe yeah. because of just actual TV crossovers. Right. Um, and it all culminates as uh, the dream or the imagination of uh, a, a kid with autism, boy. Tommy Westfall. Um, but there's, I, I didn't realize I've most of the shows on there. I've never seen mm-hmm. some of them I've never even heard of. Mm-hmm. And so I was looking at it and there's one that's uh, there's like, leave it to beaver. Mm-hmm. And then it's like the new leave it to beaver. Then, Still the beaver. What? <laughs> like, that's the name of the show. Still the beaver. The new Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> yeah. The new Wii U Switch. Isn't there a new iPad? Isn't that like the, the iPad 4 is the new We've iPad? talked about this on, on, like, the second episode of the podcast, I think. Yeah, we Apple's did? naming system. Oh, right. Yeah. Apple's naming system went from iPad, iPad 2, uh... And then I think iPad they went third generation. No, I think they just went new iPad. Oh, that was the new iPad. Okay. Uh, and what then was iPad four. iPad four was yeah. base, was I think that was called iPad four, or oh. it was. I, I think Why? what happened is no. I think what happened is they they just wanted to resort it to like years. Like mm-hmm. it would be. They kind of wanted to say, oh, I want a two thousand. 14 iPad or something like that. But people were not really super happy about that. And then by the time, well, so the, I think the iPad three and four were almost exactly the same, except for one of them had a lightning connector and not the, Oh, okay. So it was just kind of like an update. So now my question is, yeah, they've got the iPad mini two and the iPad mini four. Why Mm -hmm. don't, cause they did rebrand, re-release them in new generations. Why don't they just call them the iPad mini and the iPad mini plus? Oh, like call the regular iPad, the mini plus. No, no, no. Oh. Like, because there's the, they're still selling the Mini 2 and the Mini 4. Okay. So that's confusing to me, though. Yeah. Why don't they just have the Mini 2 be the Mini and then the Mini 4 be the Mini Plus? Plus is confusing on Apple's branding because they have iPhone Pluses, well, which then, means bigger. I was going to say Pro, but like, they already have the iPad Pro, so that would be confusing. Just, right. just something other than 4 and 2. Right. That just seems like a weird hole in their branding. Uh, well, I mean, it was the same thing when they went from iPhone to iPhone 3G, because it's just... That's true. But that was just more about the technology they were using, but it just so happened to have a number in it, and people were confused by it. Right. I... I don't know. I bring this up because I have an iPad Mini 2 Mm -hmm. now, because it was bestowed upon me Mm -hmm. by the graces of the elephant in the room. Um, Um, I know we don't talk about comics on this show, No, we don't. When I was um choose your words wisely. I know. When I was <laughs> when I had an iPad 2, uh you I know, had one. I, yeah, I was reading comics. I was reading comic books on it, but obviously the display isn't the best. Like it's I think the display's fine, it's just slow. Sure, but like for reading text on it was not very really? was kind of challenging. I think especially I had, had no issues with that part. Yeah, with my iPad 2. For reading comic books, small text comic book stuff? Yeah. I always, I, I, I think it just didn't look good. What are you, blind? Not, yeah. What are you, the elephant in the room? So I... Uh, he stopped, he's ignored, ignored yeah. at this point. Um. So there was a time where I was trying to figure out if I should get an iPad with the retina display or if I should just get an iPad mini. Two doesn't have the retina display? No. I can't tell. You can tell. <laughs> if you looked at them side by no, side, yeah. you just, would absolutely tell. I can see the pixels. Yeah. Uh, so I couldn't decide if I wanted to go with the retina display or if I wanted to go with the mini because the mini has the same amount of pixels as the, at that time uh, as the pro or yeah. as, the, as the two, but it was just compact and a smaller. So it'd have a more dense. Here's another question. Yeah. Why did they stick with the two and the four instead of like the three and the four, or the one and the four for the mini? What are you talking about? Cause there's an iPad mini one. Okay. Two. Yes. Three. Okay. And four. Sure. Why? What happened to one and three? 
Because again, the only difference between the threes and the fours were just the three didn't have the lightning connector. No, but my two has a lightning connector. Does it? Yes. And it's well, a first generation two. Look, I don't know anything about the iPad minis. Don't ask me. Hey, Apple boy. Don't ask me anything. You got an Apple on your shirt. No, I don't. It's right there. <laughs> Made you look. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything about the iPad minis. You have an iPad Air 2? Yes. What happened to the one? Is there a 3? Uh, Do they still sell the one? I think they're going I think they're doing new iPads this year at WWDC. Do they not do new ones every year? That's uh, just the phone. They they I think uh it's sometimes they take a break on certain products mm-hmm. like computers they don't have new ones every year, but they sometimes do. Uh, oh, right. iPads that used to have their own separate event. Oh. Uh, specifically when for they, iPads, but then there's like, well, there's not pulled it out of an envelope. Well, yeah. <laughs> that no, that was the iPad, or that was the uh, MacBook Air. Oh, okay. I thought they pulled out of an envelope. You can pull every device out of an envelope if you try hard enough. <laughs> sure, just get a big enough envelope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then just, not a problem. It's not that hard. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, I think they just re- reached a point where it's like we can't give to there's not so many new features on an ipad that warrants oh, its yeah. own conference that's true um whereas back in the day it used to which is why they bundle a lot of stuff together now so like they're probably going to do um all of their software stuff and ipads this year at the oh, same okay. time so i'll be like here's that's some like new- next month um it's after? it's Soon. not next month it isn't then i think it's in the next two or two months or so okay. they announced it way sooner than they usually oh do. yeah don't normally they just it just happens and then the product is out the next i think year. they announce it like a month or so before it happens okay. um and but this time they announced it way super in mm. advance uh and like all that. of their invites have clues of some kind and mm-hmm. so far no one's been really able to find the clue on this one unless it's like super duper obvious and everyone's overlooking it interesting because it's just like a bunch of cartoon people walking around with Apple products. And everyone's like, hmm. this the obvious one is, oh, it's just like a world where everyone's connected with Apple devices. But it's like, that's their clues have been really complicated <laughs> before. So that's way too obvious. Yeah. I just. Be a Where's Waldo situation. Apple branding. Or, yeah, branding makes me angry. What do you mean? They're, it's just real pretentious. <laughs> what do you mean? They're always like, oh, look at this phone. The jump Johnny Ives. This phone is the best phone in the world. See, oh, God, well, this phone is oh, this I, the curves of Johnny, this iPad. Yeah, Johnny Ive genuinely uh-huh. seems like he's sexually attracted yes. to Apple products. <laughs> yeah. I don't, you go to their website. Hold on. I'm going to pull this up. Cause he's the only one that's not smiling on their on their page. If you look at like their, <laughs> really? yeah, everyone else is like doing this, you know, classic smile, and he's just Sweet staring here. dead into the camera. That's yeah, amazing. this is what bothered me. They've got on their home screen right now. You bring it up, and it says just says iPhone. This is seven. What does that mean? Why does it just seven. say iPhone seven? Because they have a lot of. Shut up. Sometimes they have a lot of cool word. Play. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna throw that out there. There was one for a new MacBook they did that was supposed to be like really small mm-hmm. and really fast and powerful. Uh, they they did, light, comma, years ahead. So it's like not light years ahead. But it's it's light and years ahead. And I thought that was kind of funny wordplay. Was it in, uh, Helvetica? Uh, no, they have their own font. It's called... Ap- uh, Appetica? I can't remember what it's called. I no, they, Helvetica. Well, because originally, yeah, when they redesigned iOS, they had everything be Helvetica, but then they introduced their own font not short, very shortly afterwards. Do they ever explain why it's not called the iWatch? Yeah, they're getting away from i stuff. Why? It's because thing. Because, no, it's so it's old. Thing. It's It's their thing? Yeah, it hasn't yeah. been their thing for a while. It's their thing? They're iPhone, only, uh, they're locked iBook. in. They're Why'd they sell a three hundred dollar book, which yeah. is pictures of their products? They, they, you think that's not pretentious? They sure did. Uh, no, but they like it's the same reason that they they're, they're labeling everything as Apple now yeah. instead of I. So like they have the Apple Watch, the Apple uh, TV, the Apple Pay is their thing that they do that with. So like the, everything is the pencil, the Apple pencil. Yeah, the Apple pencil. Everything is Apple now. And but it's usually not spelled out. It's the Apple symbol. Yeah. Calling it at some point it's just going to be the Apple phone. 
They're yeah. gonna start over from square one. I think. I think. They're gonna iPhone... put the headphone jack back on, and they're you gonna be like, so? "No, it's not iPhone. We we kept our promise." I think the problem is that iPhone is so uh, so popular, just that name, that term, mm-hmm. that they'll, they're never gonna be able to change it. Yeah, iPhone. It's like I mean, it's 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 iMac is still a thing that exists too. Nobody says iMac. Yeah, we just say my Mac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my Mac or my computer. Mm-hmm. Nobody says I wisdom. What? Says they're gaming. No, it wasn't the Pippin. The Pippin. <laughs> the I Pippin that had two eyes in it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it did. Oh, uh, what about? What's another really underground Apple product? Actually, you know what? Yeah. Don't answer that. Can okay. we go back to the book? The book, Why? yeah, the three hundred dollar book. Or Why'd whatever they it was? sell that? <sighs> because they can. What's wrong with that? It's because people will buy it. And That's all it did. is. That's all. Stop. It is. Do you know? Okay, so there's a YouTuber that I watch. I Justine. It's <laughs> <laughs> talking about the elephant in the room. Uh, there's there's a YouTuber I watch called uh, Everything Apple Pro, and I have a yeah. couple of problems with this guy. I think he's a great guy, and he means well. Mm-hmm. Uh, couple things. It's not everything, Apple. He no. only talks about iOS. Oh. Um, and iPhones and stuff. He doesn't ever talk about the MacBooks and the and the whatever. He doesn't it's care. Frustrating. There's but no anyway, I in there. so I like as a person who owns a lot of Apple computers, mm-hmm. I want to know. Uh, uh, I, he just doesn't. It's it's frustrating. What are others? Not the point. Watch what, uh, Dave 2D. Yeah. That man is is just real comforting to watch. I'll have to check him out. I don't know his channel name. He just introduces himself as that. Fair enough. Um, but he was talking about um, the ticket price for WWDC, which mm. is like $1,600 per ticket. What? Why? To get in the room with all the Apple people as they talk about a thing that's live streamed. Just watch it. Yeah. <laughs> from your so it home. used to not be live streamed. It used to oh, be okay. like they would upload it later or so like that. Yeah. Um, but so many people were sneaking in just to live stream it that <laughs> Apple was like, we'll just live stream it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> fine. Um. And people are still willing to pay the price to, of admission, even though you could watch it from the comfort of your own home. Yeah. Is it different um, to be there? Yeah, to get pictures and for your blogs or oh, whatever. Yeah, break the story. Yeah, exactly. Even um, though it's being live streamed. And live tweeted and everything yep. like that. It's crazy. By but everyone. so the everything Apple Pro was like, I, I would love to go to WWDC, but I can't afford the 16, like, I can't justify a $1,600. Do you do a uh, fund price me? Like, no. What, but. <laughs> flashback to a few like weeks ago Mm -hmm. when he made a video talking about how he paid five thousand dollars for an original iphone uh no in in the in the box still wrapped and everything like that but it was fake what he he was like he took it to get x-rayed uh just to see what was inside to make sure that because it the whole thing was that it was sealed it was a yeah. sealed original oh, okay. iphone so, so he didn't, didn't want to open, open it. it exactly uh so we got an x-rayed and found a whole bunch of inconsistencies Whoops. uh and was like well i made a five thousand dollar mistake also i can't justify spending sixteen hundred dollars on a wwdc ticket i'm like you could justify five thousand dollars on a gamble yeah, but you can't why would you Hold on. We're, first of all, there's yeah. got to be some fraud protection there if you bought it through like eBay or something. He did. He returned it and got his money back. Okay. So I know he's got money for WWDC. Yeah, why doesn't he? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking small device is different than going to WWDC and seeing the good ones? Yeah. Oh, my God. You know what I miss? Yeah. About the iPhone 3GS? What? The spin. The spin? You could spin it. What do you mean? Oh, like, it had a curve. Because it was round on the back. You could spin it around. I, it was tragic. The day that I got, I think it was like an iPhone 5 or something. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was just flat. It was just flat. I was like, I can't It was live. ergonomically designed to the curve of your hand. Yeah, obviously. If you hold a phone exactly like that, which is real awkward. <laughs> can somebody send me an iPhone 6 Plus case, but you can spin it? Yeah, it's just got a bump. It's got a, bump it's got a little hump on the back you can that you spin can spin it, it around. Maybe that's why they curve. Yeah. They want to be back yeah. to the 3GS. <laughs> That's why. Fair enough. I forgive Apple for everything they've done. They're just really trying to get They're... back to the, the hump phones. Yeah, the hump phones. Anyway, you want to close this by talking about the elephant in the room? Not really, do you? You've been pretty vocal about it. What if I told you that this hasn't been a bit? That there, there is an elephant in this room I somewhere? Would... 
like you don't mean a real living elephant. <laughs> maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't think you do. There's it a figurative elephant noise. in the room. Yeah. What do you think it is? A figurative elephant in the room. Yeah. What is it? Is it something on me? No. Okay. Cool. Uh, is it? It's not Ricky. Is it? Is that your Burger King over there? Yeah, that's mine. Okay. That's not it, though. That's not you it. You want to know what the elephant in the room is? Sure. It's these microphones. These microphones. <laughs> we got new microphones. We got new microphones. We didn't mention that ever. Was... Has that been what you've been trying to get at this entire yeah, it's time? the elephant in the room. See, Why didn't you just say something? My ulterior motive? But you said there were like listen, six of them. There's I only two. To, <laughs> I wanted to talk about the elephants in the room. I don't but believe I, you I didn't want to. No, no. I planned this out before I even started recording. Because uh-huh. I wanted to talk about the elephant in the room, but I wanted to do a bit where I wouldn't let you talk about the elephant in the room. Because there was I a... I didn't want to talk about the elephant. No, no, no. There was a point. That's, it was easy for me. But there was a point in the podcast where you were like, all right, well, we might as well talk about the elephant in the room. And I was like... You know what the elephant in the room is? I was like, what do you think of Legend of Korra? <laughs> I switched it on. You didn't know what the elephant in the room is. It's these mics, guys. We got new mics. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Podcast over. Yeah, well, social media stuff, yeah? Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at an online podcast. It's, we don't have an Instagram. <laughs> no. Uh, I go to at Oram Alexander on twitter.com slash Go to twitter.com slash the ace convict. <laughs> no. No? Nope. Scott Nicewander. Scott Nicewander. Right? Nerd sync. Uh, for those of you who are making parody of Counts of Me now, stop. <laughs> Look, I've got no problem with parody accounts. It's just, and most of them have been nice about it, but they use my exact profile picture. Right. And I'm like, no, no, that just causes confusion. Um, so the first, the corn dogs one, they used a different one, but it was still close enough to where it was confusing still. But the second one, not the second, I think it's the third one that I've had, but it was made today. Uh, just used my exact profile picture, and I was like, hey, don't do that one. Yeah. And so they changed it. But they were nice about it. Good stuff. That's all right. Uh, like. Follow and subscribe or do all the things that help us out on all the platforms. What are you saying? Review. Reviews. Mm. iTunes reviews. Look, even if you don't listen on iTunes, because we put these up on SoundCloud and YouTube and everything, going over to iTunes really quickly just to give us a quick rating and review really does help us out. Listen, I know this was the worst one. I would say probably probably second to worst. What was the worst one? I don't want to say out loud. Why not? The audience judge. Hmm. Will you tell me after this podcast? Sure. Okay. That's all I need to know. Will you tell me during the stream? Sure. We do these live. If you want to figure out what the worst episode of this podcast is. Look for the comments and the dislikes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anyway, thanks for listening. You going to close the book? Maybe. Close the book. How does this this sound? New mic. Elephant. For any of our viewers who have access to internet, we invite your comments.